Hey everybody, um, I'm making this video first thing I'm doing in the morning after making my cup of joe. Yeah. My cup of joe. Anyway, check this out. Um, I think I called the last two videos uh, how I pimp social media. So this is probably going to be part three. Um, I had a conversation with someone on Facebook after I posted something on Facebook and I stick to my guns, you know, I, I basically said that YouTube is a better promoting platform for ideas. I could use countless examples, um, but this person kept throwing their credentials at me as if it means something. I don't care if you won the Nobel Peace Prize. It doesn't make your point more valid than mine. Um, I mean, if you were like a medical doctor and you're talking about anatomy and stuff like that or whatever, maybe I'd probably be more inclined to believe you than myself doing research. But even if you won the Nobel Peace Prize, you're, you're not going to be any more right about this. And I feel this very strongly. And I challenge anybody to look, um, look at this. I could use somebody right now as an example that will prove my point uh, too much that YouTube is a better platform for promoting ideas than it is than Facebook, Twitter, or anything else. And I don't even really know if YouTube is really considered a social networking site. I know that it's a, a video site, a video channels, almost like having your own channel. Now, here's the thing, all right? I'm gonna use a really good example. I'm gonna use Dr. Phil, all right? Dr. Phil is a huge success. Let's look at Dr. Phil's YouTube channel and look at Dr. Phil's Facebook page. Now, I dare you to do a comparison. Which one has more success in reaching more people? Come on, people. Tell me. Which one? I'll use another one. Let's use a mega, another megastar. Let's use Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber got famous through his YouTube channel. But let's forget about that part. Let's look at Justin Bieber's Facebook page and his YouTube channel. Which one gets more uh, user-generated content? I mean, uh, yeah, user-generated. Um, which one gets more attention? I would have to say it's YouTube. Um, Here's the cool thing about YouTube that I think, which is why I'm taking all my intellectual conversations over to, to, to YouTube and I'm keeping them off of Facebook, but I'll post my YouTube videos on Facebook. But I no longer subscribe to the idea of putting intellectual information on Facebook anymore. And um, I'll tell you why. Let's just suppose I was a toy train collector, right? And I was into building toy trains, creating, modifying toy trains. And I did it as just a hobby and I wanted to reach out to people, right? Now, I could make a video and the topic of the video could be me building toy trains or toy trains and I could say subscribe. There's a market for that. People who like toy trains are going to look at my videos because they're going to, it's going to, pop up in their search. So YouTube is a better platform for creating division and getting and categorizing your material so that you can get the right users and the right people to either subscribe, watch your videos or get more information and you could be more successful because you're going to you're appealing directly to the crowd that you're supposed to. On Facebook you can't really do that as well. I mean, I have a few tricks like, for example, I have the Build Your Brand group on Facebook. I have a page for my music because I try not to reduce myself to my music only because few things have have been happening in my life um, that, I'm, that I like, that I, I don't want my music to interfere with too much. And first of all, one of those things is I've been a published writer for as long as I've known. I've been writing since I was 17 years old. I've been like making music since I was 15, but um, I'm also a published columnist and writer. 
and I have a lot of fun with that. So the thing is, I have more than one skill set. And basically, as far as my writing is concerned, it promotes itself. I have readers, I have people who subscribe to the um, publications that I write for. So I don't really have to really advertise or anything like that. But here's the thing. As far as like YouTube is concerned, if I wanted to do book reviews, I could say, this is a, a college pamphlet, by the way. I could say, um, I want to do a, a uh, book review or magazine review for Ink Magazine or whatever I want to do. And it will get people specifically interested in that topic. And you'll get subscribers, you'll get views on your videos. Um, based on that, you'll get a following. And if you're an independent mu musician or artist, YouTube is going to be the platform that's going to really jump your, um, and if you use it properly, it's really going to blast your music career. Like, I'll give you an example. If you were, like, let's suppose you, you had a Facebook page. For your, and this is how Facebook will work to help you. YouTube can help your Facebook page, not the other way around. Um, you make a video of you doing a show, and you tell people to like your Facebook page, and you put a link underneath your video. If people really like your music, and they see you're really talented, you got a drummer and stuff, one of the best guitarists in the area, and you have a really great CD, and you're promoting your CD, and you're telling people to check out your Facebook, then your Facebook's gonna get a lot more views. Your Facebook uh, page is gonna get a lot more views, you're gonna get a lot more likes, you're gonna get a lot more user-generated content that way. Not the other way around. You can't use YouTube to promote, I mean, you can't use Facebook to promote your YouTube as effectively. Because it's two different platforms and YouTube is a better platform for promoting other stuff. So you would start with YouTube first and then you will go to other platforms. And I stand behind that. I don't care who you are. So if you don't believe me, test my theory. Test my idea. Test it and see for yourself. Don't be an egghead and try to to uh, to look, you know, for what you're trying to prove or anything like that. Just check it out. Use. Let's start with Doctor Phil. Find out for me which one has more, which one has more of an impact on his career, YouTube or Facebook. And I guarantee. It's YouTube. I guarantee it. Anything you're trying to do, YouTube is a forum. And a lot of people miss out on this. A lot of people are scratching their head and they're wondering, why am, why am I not getting a, an audience for or a, a, um, a liking for what I'm doing? And it's because they're missing the boat. YouTube is where you start first. YouTube is going to give you the platform that you need in order to promote your stuff. Use YouTube. A lot of people are, are pushing, trying to get their songs recognized. I haven't even touched my music channel in a long time, except I uploaded a couple of videos throughout the time. I had my music YouTube channel since 2007, and it has over 20,000 views, and I haven't even, I haven't even really promoted it. All right, see you guys later.